In 2022, all of the incumbent Montana lawmakers who faced primary challenges won them. The situation was different this year. In total, five sitting House members and one senator, all Republicans, lost their bids for another nomination. Several more representatives were defeated while campaigning to move up to the Senate. In Ravalli County, Senator Teresa Manzella won nomination for a second term, holding off a challenge from Representative Wayne Rusk. Manzella chairs the staunchly conservative Montana Freedom Caucus and says the primary contests show a clear division between what she sees as constitutionally aligned Republicans and others in the party. We're thankful that we've got some strong legislators out there that are uh, either you know, new last session or coming on new this session that we believe will be uh, great assets to the team. Because we still take an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States and the state of Montana, and that, that really is the job. Representative Ross Fitzgerald of Power is the treasurer of Conservatives for MT, which advertised in more than two dozen GOP legislative primaries to boost what he calls common sense conservative and non-extreme candidates. Who is a really, truly conservative Republican that's representing their district. And I think that's the thing. Of course, your conscience is first, constituents are second, and then uh, obviously the, the caucus or the party is absolutely the third. And I think that's wherein lies some of the differences of opinion. Both groups saw some wins and some losses Tuesday. Representatives Tony Brockman and Michelle Binkley lost to challengers backed by the Freedom Caucus, while Freedom Caucus member Representative Stephen Galloway is narrowly losing, and his wife Lola Sheldon Galloway lost to Josh Kazmaier in a race between two House members seeking to move up to the Senate. Representative Caleb Hinkle, a Freedom Caucus member, defeated Representative Jennifer Carlson in the only primary contest between two incumbents. In addition, Senator Chris Friedel lost to former Representative Vince Rickey, who had Freedom Caucus support, and Representative James Bergstrom lost to a candidate supported by Conservatives for MT. With results still unofficial Thursday, five GOP House primaries had candidates separated by less than 110 votes. There were only two incumbent Democratic lawmakers who faced primary challenges, and both of them won. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.